Whenever you see a bad math identity, don't laugh because we might be actually dealing with a very nice math equation, just like this one. On the left hand side, we have e to the power of x plus 2, and on the right hand side, we have e to the x power plus e to the second power. Of course, this is not always true because this is not an identity, it's not a rule. But we can look at this as an exponential equation, meaning that we can actually solve an x that makes this equation true. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, let's see how we can do this. On the left hand side, we have e to the x plus 2. Well, we can actually use the rule of exponent to break it apart. We can't really do anything on the right hand side. So right here, let's do that. We will end up with e to the x times e to the second power. This is the legitimate way right, to break this apart. All right. And then we keep the e to the x power plus e to the second power on the right hand side. And now remember, we have to solve for x. Here we have the x and here we have the x. Well, move them together. Let me put this to the left hand side. So we will have e to the x times e to the second minus e to the x, and this is equal to e to the second power. And because both of these have the e to the x power, we can factor that. And then we will have e to the second power minus one, and this is equal to e to the second power. Then of course, we can just divide this on both sides. So we see that we have e to the x power being equal to e to the second power over e to the second power minus 1. Aha! Now we just have to solve for x, which is in the exponent. And to do so, we can take the natural log on both sides. That way, this and that can cancel. And ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to this. If you want to put them together, you just write it down as ln of e to the second power over e to the second power minus 1. I think this right here is pretty clean. But of course, if you want to break them apart by using the rule of logarithms, what you can do is you can write this as ln of e to the second minus ln of the bottom, which is e to the second minus one. This and that cancel, so we actually just get two minus ln of e to the second minus one. So one way or the other, I personally prefer this right here. That's it. Check out my other videos for more questions like this.